a secret. It's about YouTube live streams, scheduled live streams at that. It's a secret feature that not too many people know about just yet. You might have seen it out in the wild. I'm going to tell you what it is and how you can do it too. Let's hit it. G'day, Doug here, back with another video today. The super secret new feature for YouTube live streams is the scheduled live stream trailer. What's that, you ask? Well, as you can see in the B-roll right now, an example from Nick Nemmer's live streams where he shows a one or two minute trailer whilst people are waiting for his live stream to start. He could schedule an hour, six hours, a day in advance. And this video is waiting for people who come past and tells them all about the live stream, who it's for, and reminds them to click the reminder button so they can come back when the live stream actually goes live. Super awesome feature. Now I've tried it a couple of times on my live streams too. I've done a couple of different versions. I'm gonna play some for you here in the background. But today I'm gonna to show you how you can do this on your channel. There's a number of steps you're gonna to need to take and the very first one is you need to create a trailer for your live stream. It might be a trailer that you use for every live stream if you have a themed live stream every week that is a recurring live stream, a recurring format live stream. Or you might wanna make a fresh live stream trailer for each live stream. That's up to you. You can do it either way. What are the rules around making a trailer for your live stream? Well, it's real simple. It's gotta be at least 20 seconds to about two to three minutes. No more, keep it short, keep it to the point. Some best practice tips is to let people know what time to come to your live stream, what to expect, and crucially, Remind them to click the reminder button so that they get a notification from YouTube when you go live. So you can incorporate that into a trailer in any sort of method, any sort of presentation style that you like that works with your format and your content. So do that and you're sweet. Now, once you've made your trailer, what you wanna do is upload it to YouTube. And as this is important, as an unlisted video, you don't want to make it go live. You don't want to do a bunch of things to it. Now, for this video, it's always going to be unlisted. It's never going to be live. You just give it a descriptive name so you know what it is when you're looking in your back end. Upload it, unlisted, zero keywords, SEO, description. You don't need any of that. The second step, you need to actually schedule your live stream. So whether you do that in your software of choice, say StreamYard, for example, where you can schedule your live streams natively there, or whether you do it on YouTube in the live studio, whichever way, make sure you schedule the live stream. Now, once you've scheduled your live stream, you're gonna wanna jump into your YouTube studio and desktop. Here we go. And up in the uh, top right-hand corner, you've got the little go live button. Click on that. What that's gonna do is open up the YouTube live stream manager. You might get a blank screen like this because I haven't yet scheduled a stream. I could do that scheduling as I just mentioned up here. If you have one that's scheduled, it's gonna appear in the list right now. So we need one scheduled to continue with this. So I'm gonna schedule a live stream right now. Okay, so you're gonna see your live stream scheduled here. You can see that it's there. You might have stuff turned on and off. First thing you wanna do is to click on it by just clicking on the title there you're going to get into the dashboard area where you can see the chat and you can see different settings you just want to go up to the edit button here and this is where all the general upload type settings are for the live stream first page is the details page this is the title the description the scheduled time whether it's unlisted or listed all those different things are adding a thumbnail to it adding it to a playlist and so forth. So you can do with this what you will, there's tags and everything else. Next, customization. This is the page you really wanna be in to set up your channel trailer. You can see there's a number of settings here. It will start at the top. We're gonna to skip through these because these aren't relevant to the trailer, but this is where you can turn your live chat on and off, whether it's a participation mode like subscriber only mode or anything like that. If you want slow mode on your live stream, none of that is going to affect the trailer. At the bottom here, you see two areas. One's called redirect and one's called trailer. 
Redirect is something that we're not discussing in this video, but that's basically to say, once the live stream is done, you want to send them somewhere else, which could be another live stream or a premiere. Trailer, it says here, trailers are a great way to share a sneak peek and get viewers excited. At a 15 second to three minute upload for people to watch until your content begins. Click add. It's going to show you a bunch of videos on your channel. Hopefully one of the most recent ones that you've uploaded is your unlisted trailer. As you can see here, I have a trailer that's ready to go. I'm going to pick this one for the purposes of the tutorial. And you can see now here, I have created a breakfast live trailer and I've got a date on it. Then I'm going to click save. And now this scheduled live stream has the trailer applied. So as a viewer, if I now go to that, the live stream trailer will automatically play. Let's check that out. Okay, you can see here on my channel, I can see the live stream schedule. So I'm gonna click on that. And you can see there's my trailer playing as I've come here as a potential viewer. The channel is telling me what's happening. You can see on the screen, there's a set reminder button which hopefully I've reminded people to actually go and press. So that will remind them that in 12 hours, we're gonna be live streaming to come back when the notification goes out. They will get a notification guaranteed. You can see what I've done in this particular trailer. Let me get off the screen. I've got some points that come up at the bottom and then it even reminds them to subscribe to the channel while they're waiting. Why not? And then it done, it goes back to the thumbnail and that's it. So each time a, a person might duck out and then come back closer to the thing they'll get the trailer again and it'll, it'll remind them each time that they come back right up until when the live stream starts so be creative with your trailers come up with something that is descriptive tells them what's going to happen in that particular live stream tells them what time it's on and tells them to click the reminder button so that they can come back and join your live stream once it goes live let's have as many live streamers use this feature it, as it is a benefit to the audience by telling them what's going to happen and what to expect and hopefully increase the viewership on your live streams if you've got any questions make sure to let me know in the comments of this video and of course if you want more content about youtube features click on this video where i tell you all about premieres including trailers for premieres and redirects well, this is doug and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation.